Hi, everyone. I'm Motohiro Otsuka, a core reviewer of Magnum project. In this session, I'll introduce Magnum, which is container service for OpenStack. Agenda is here. I'll introduce in this order. What is Magnum? Architecture, resources, and how to use Magnum. Ah, the first, about me. I'm an engineer at Energy Solution Innovators, and I'm Magnum Core from last days of the last year. Well, what is Magnum? Magnum is an API service for OpenStack to make container management tools, such as Docker and Kubernetes, fast cross resources in OpenStack. So if so, how does Magnum introduce container technology to OpenStack? Magnum has a very simple architecture. It has only two components, which are Magnum API and Magnum Conductor. Magnum API provides API endpoint for user and controls conductor. And Magnum is responsible for building container management tools and managing containers. When building container, uh, building container management tools, Magnum conductor uses heat to build a cluster of Kubernetes or Docker Swarm. When managing containers, Magnum conductor or the Kubernetes or Docker Swarm directory to manage containers. And then about resources. Magnum has some own resources to manage container management tools and containers. Feature, Bay model, and Bay, and service, pod, replication controller, and containers. The first about Bay model. Bay needs a lot of parameter to build. So Bay model makes it easy to build. Next, about Bay. Bay is a representation of cluster, such as Kubernetes, a Kubernetes cluster, or a Docker Swarm cluster. It means Bay is a group of Nova instance, which contains, for, for example, Kubernetes master and minions, and also suggests that, current, uh, that there are two types of Bay, which are Kubernetes or Swarm type of Bay. <coughs> Kubernetes type bay has three resources, which are service, pod, replication controller. These are derived from Kubernetes. You can manage these resources using Magnum. And of course, you can manage these, uh, manage these using Kubernetes directory. Docker swarm type of bay has one resource. It is container. Docker Swarm type bay manage container directory. Finally, I introduce how to use Magnum. This is example for Kubernetes type of bay. Bay needs a lot of parameter to build. So the first, you must create bay model, which is template of bay. Kubernetes type of bay requires these parameters, which are image ID, KPI ID, external network ID, DNS name server, flavor ID, and Docker volume size, and finally type of bay, it parameter COE. If you create a bay model, you can create bay using it. Node count suggests a number of bay, a number of minion. 
Once you create a bay, you can manage Kubernetes resources using Magnum Client. Magnum Client requires manifest for resources. It is easy to create pod or service. <laughs> and this is an example of some type of bay. Some type bay also requires a lot of parameter. If you create a swarm type of bay, you can manage containers using Magnum Client. So you know, Magnum makes easy to manage con container and container management tools. But it is a part of Magnum which provides and Magnum still have a lot of bugs and lacks of functions. For example, networking. So Magnum is a lot of contribution. Please join Magnum projects. Thank you. <laughs>